guys, this is InfoJam, where we stop and update you on news and info from the past week. Leading news this week, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has announced a travel bubble will start with the Cook Islands on the 17th of May. The move will allow two-way quarantine-free travel between both countries. To ensure safety, New Zealand will be providing the Cook Islands with enough vaccine to immunise its population, which will start later this month. There will be no requirements for a pre-departure COVID-19 test. However, travellers will have to provide a health declaration and there will be random health checks at airports. No one should travel if they are unwell, if they are waiting on a COVID-19 test, or if they have been in contact with anyone suspected to have COVID-19. In world news, Disneyland in California has reopened for the first time in over a year. However, the experience will be slightly different. Due to COVID, there will be no hugs with Mickey, Minnie and the other Disney characters. Numbers will also be limited to only a quarter of their usual visitor numbers. It is estimated with this capacity, there would be around 20,000 visitors a day. All guests aged two and over will be required to wear a face mask and have their temperatures taken when they arrive. The parades and the nightly fireworks displays have been canceled too, to make sure crowds do not gather. Despite the rules, bookings have been strong and there is currently a waiting list until June to get a ticket. From the Odd Stuff file, scientists have confirmed that the number of Pizzly Bears is on the increase. A Pizzly Bear is a cross between a Grizzly Bear and a Polar Bear, sometimes known as Growler Bears. Pizzlies were first discovered in the wild in 2006. A hunter in Canada killed a bear with white fur and brown patches, as well as the humped back and long claws characteristic of a grizzly bear. DNA testing confirmed the bear was a hybrid. A 2017 study published in the journal Arctic documented eight pizzlies, but this number has increased significantly. Experts believe the increase has come about through global warming. Grizzly bears are moving further north as temperatures rise. Meanwhile, polar bears are having to search for other food sources. In sports, the Chiefs and Blues have played the first ever game of women's super rugby at Eden Park. The Chiefs were too strong for the Blues, securing a 39-12 victory. The game included some of the best women's rugby players in the world. Six black ferns featured in the match, with the Blues having a combined total of 167 test caps, while the Chiefs had 84. The Blues were captained by current Blackfern skipper Eloise Blackwell, while the Chiefs are being led by Les Elder, who has also captained the national side. The star of the game, however, was Chiefs' first five, Hazel Tubic. She showed outstanding kicking form from the tee, nailing four sideline conversions and two penalties. It is hoped that the game will help ensure a women's competition in 2022. Our pop culture topic this week is shoes. How much would you pay for a pair of shoes? One person has paid 1.8 million for a pair of prototype Nike Yeezys worn by Kanye West during his performances of Hey Mama and Stronger at the Grammy Awards in 2008. The size 12 shoes designed by West and Mark Smith are made of soft black leather. The design features a four foot strap and signature Y medallion lace locks in bright pink. This price has shattered the record for a pair of sneakers ever sold. Finally, the value of the week this week is overcoming. Overcoming means to defeat or succeed in controlling or dealing with something. There are times where we can find ourselves so focused on what is happening to us that we become overwhelmed and can feel stuck. In these times, it's helpful to look past our situation and focus on where we want to end up. That positive picture of the future can motivate us to keep going and succeed in coming out the other side of the problem. So when you are going through a difficult situation, focus beyond and keep moving forward by picturing where you want to end up, thinking about how you can get there. And a huge shout out to Room 6 at Wadestown School, Wellington with Miss Ralph. Thanks for watching team, have an awesome day. Well, that's it for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure you have a look around kiwikidsnews.co.nz and remember to tune in next week for our next Info Jam. See you then.